Just want to do a quick instructional video on what your lab report should look like. So if you've watched the other video on what these links mean for the lab report checklist, the results, questions, the conclusion checklist, I wanted to give you an idea of what the lab report is supposed to look like. So if you have printed off that checklist, um, it says that you need a cover page. So here's the cover page. The cover page, again, um, if you still have your information from the first week of school on how to write a lab report, the cover page has the name of the lab investigation, your name, and the date that you um, turn it in. Then you get to the body of the report, which is the purpose, hypothesis, materials, procedure, results, and conclusion. Notice that the word purpose is bold and there's some space here so that when you look at the report, you see exactly where the purpose is, the hypothesis. It does go in this order. Um, the materials, if you notice on the checklist, it says that they're in a list. So if you notice here, this is a list, um, your procedure. The results, which are, um, if you can see on this example, um, is three paragraphs long, one, two, and three paragraphs. Um, if you remember from the link, the results questions, they were divided into three paragraphs. Paragraph one was asking for some background information on what friction is, what types of friction there are, what types of friction was used in this lab, and a little information on the surfaces tested. Then paragraph two was um, asking specific questions about the speed of the toy cars on the different surfaces and you know, using friction and the surfaces as your background information or as your explanation to explain why your toy car had the slowest speed on one surface and why it exhibited a faster speed on another surface using friction as your explanation. So for example, in mine I have that the data um, shows that the toy car experienced the fastest speed on the tile surface and the slowest speed on the grass surface. Now those were two different questions in the results questions, but I made it one sentence because I felt like that would flow better. And then I gave my reason for that uh, since friction acts in the direction opposite motion and the surface length of the blades and the dead leaves, the amount of friction between um, the toy car was great and since the wheels were short, the grass was in direct contact, you know, with the bottom of the car um, all the time, you know. So that was my explanation for why it did not go as fast it's because there was more friction versus the tile. And then in the third paragraph, it asked you to talk about error. So then in your the body of your report, the third paragraph under the results heading is where you talk about error. Then you have your conclusion. This conclusion is just one paragraph. I used the conclusion checklist, the sentence starters, to get um, that conclusion. Then I inserted a blank page, and I put my data table for the speed on different surfaces. And then I inserted another blank page and I put my bar graph in for the speed of the toy car. So these, um, or this is what a completed lab report looks like. Again, you need to make sure you check everything off your checklist for writing the lab report. You want to make sure that you've answered in detail um, all of the information in the results questions because that's going to give you um, your three paragraphs for your results and you want to make sure that you use the sentence starters for writing your conclusion. You want to make sure you include your data table and your graph. After you have finished your uh, lab report, it's time to save it uh, using the your first name, last name, and uh, the name of the report. So first name, last name, and I'm just going to put lab report friction. Again, you want to save it to your um, USB drive, and then you're going to save it. So now you have it um, on you at all time at school, just in case technology-wise, you know, something happens. Then you're ready to turn it in. You just go to this link here that says friction investigation, upload complete report here. When you click on that, um, and I've already uploaded one, so I'm just going to delete it. Uh, and this is, you know, you can exit out and delete it if you realize that you need to make changes or something before the due date. And you're just going to browse 
and here it is here, uh, Katie Tatum Lab Report Friction, and you're going to select that and you're going to upload it. And then you are completely finished with your lab report. And again, if you realize that you made a mistake, you named the file wrong or something and you want to replace it, you just hit this X button and then you just upload your new file. So I'm going to show you what that lab report looks like one more time. Um, so that you know what a lab report is supposed to look like. And again, I have provided for you all of the information you need uh, to write that result section, your conclusion section, and then of course in your lab journals you have the information for purpose and hypothesis materials. You need to write the procedure yourself, the results yourself, and the conclusion yourself. So the results um, and conclusion and procedure should be your own work. Thank you.